For as long as games have had wooden training weapons, we've been goofing around trying to use them in situations we maybe weren't supposed to. It is human nature to be given something, then told or shown it's useless, and then still trying to see where and when it can work anyways. The funniest part of all of this is most of the time someone actually finds a way. Sure, you may not feel like a badass wielding a bar of soap like a nuclear bomb, but if it works, it works, right? With that in mind, I'm Will Fort Culture, and here are 10 pathetic video game weapons that players still used. 10. Excalibur Final Fantasy V As a poor twin of Excalibur, Excalibur is naturally not the best weapon in the world. In fact, it's purposefully terrible, only hitting for a single point of damage each time you attack. However, in a game like Final Fantasy, where hardcore players managed to beat the whole game with their party at super low levels, it was inevitable that someone would find a way to make this trash become treasure. The use for Excalibur comes from one crucial detail. It may hit for only one damage, but it always hits. As such, if you make it so the weapon causes a status effect on those it hits, it will constantly dole out said status effect, making it the most reliable way to poison or stun enemies. The weapon is also incredibly useful against metal slimes, which have such high damage resistance and evasion that consistently doing one damage to them is actually pretty good. Oh, and if that isn't enough, it can also do incredibly good damage if you throw it. Yes, it may be a bad Excalibur, but a bad Excalibur, it turns out, is pretty good. 9. The Broom, Assassin's Creed 2 When you're a professional assassin with blades literally hidden up your sleeves, using other weapons might seem a tad redundant. After all, you didn't train up at not nicking your arms accidentally just to not use the damn things. But this did not stop a hefty dose of rascally players using the brooms you could find in the game, nicknamed Brooms of Doom by sections of the online community, as potentially deadly weapons. Since the vast majority of your assassin counters count the broom as a weapon akin to a sword more than a wooden stick, you can still absolutely decimate your enemies with it, and with an added bonus of it looking absolutely hilarious. Even if the second game in the series isn't your favourite, there's something about slitting someone's throat with a dull side of a broom that's just a little bit special. 8. Plan C – Binding of Isaac with the first Binding of Isaac game boasting a hefty 196 items you can pick up and equip to your protagonist Isaac, you always knew some of them would suck. When Plan C rocked up, an item that does 9,999,999 damage to everything that isn't you in the room, but that kills you three seconds later, you likely presumed this was just another case of that. But for many runs, this item is potentially game-breaking. If you have any other item or ability that equals an extra life, you essentially have a get-out-of-jail-free card only instead of getting out of jail free, you're instead getting off to a terrifyingly strong boss later in the game. Now, this isn't a foolproof plan. For example, if you use it in the fight of Delirium with an item that teleports you out of the room, you'll ultimately have to fight the thing again. But given how useless this weapon initially appears, it has way more uses than you'd initially give it credit for. 7. Santia's Spear – Dark Souls 2 at the point where you can pick up Santia's Spear, chances are you've likely already picked yourself a weapon that's going to carry you through the rest of the game, unless you're looking for a specific weapon that you explicitly want to use throughout Souls 2. However, that weapon is unlikely to be Santia's Spear, as when you first pick it up, it seems more or less useless. But if you either knew to use all the durability of the weapon and break it, or are messing around with it and did so anyways, you'll find it turns into a much, much more useful piece of equipment. This makes the spear incredibly quick, and especially before it was nerfed, practically invaluable because of this in PvP situations. The only issue is that any time you rest at a bonfire or die, the durability on the weapon will be replenished, and then you need to spend a minute or five smashing it into a brick wall until it becomes useful again. 6. The Cooking Ladle – Summer Night Swordcraft Story Summer Night is largely based around the wild amount of weaponry you can craft for yourself throughout the game, as indeed the story itself is about you joining a tournament where entrants battled it out with weapons they made. So when Sakuro, the craft lord of Sapphire, gives you a recipe for a new weapon, you're expecting something that's maybe just a little bit of cool. What you aren't expecting, however, is that Sakuro considers himself a bit of a prankster at times, because said weapon turns out to be a cooking ladle with terrible stats. However, players brave enough to mess around with this tool have actually offered found themselves in a solid position. This is because in the tournament battles, you actively don't want to defeat your opponent right away. You want to break their weapon, because this then grants you the ability to make it for yourself. And what would you know, while the ladle isn't amazing in damage, it has premium capabilities as a weapon crushing machine. With its durability and ability to create combos, and you have a surefire way to get every other weapon in the game. So maybe this weapon wasn't a prank after all. 
5. KC Bats Enter the Gungeon Though baseball bats are incredibly useful and fun weapons in most games, KC the baseball bat initially seems pretty useless in Enter the Gungeon. As the name might suggest, Enter the Gungeon is mainly about using guns, and shooting them as quickly and efficiently as possible, while trying not to get shot yourself. This in mind, having to lumber after folk with a slab of polished wood doesn't seem practical. But KC hides a magical secret. It can reflect bullets. While this means playing with it requires you to play massively different to how you'll be used to, it's also worth trying because, well, because it's a magical bat that you can use to slaughter your enemies with their own bullets. You don't need much more reason than that. The weapon has massively divided players on whether it's immensely useful but hard to pick up, or totally useless and impractical. But honestly, that just makes it more interesting. 4. Banana Peel Arrow – The Last Story The uses you find for the Banana Peel Arrow, in general, are silly. You can use them to prank people or as traps for people you face, but not for a whole lot else. That is, for the majority of the game, they serve next to no purpose. But there is a hidden agenda in these slippery little pieces of ammunition that actually make them borderline invaluable. Because in the final fight against Zangarak, a terrifying and formidable warrior and your main enemy throughout the game, you can actually use these arrows to send him falling flat on his ass, allowing you to get a decent amount of damage in in the meantime. You also get to feel a little less intimidated by him, as seeing the ultra-menacing villain slip on a banana peel like he's an off-brand Looney Tune character certainly helps any nerves you may or may not have had. 3. Soap Dusk In a shooter where you take down evil beasties and ghouls, you naturally expect the most powerful weapon in the game to be a gun, because of course these games tend to contain one huge badass weapon that you get to merrily hop around with at the end of the game. However, Dusk goes in a very different direction in its development of overpowered weapons, making its most powerful weapon the polar opposite of a huge tank-looking gun. Instead of a machine gun or rocket launcher, we instead discover that the soap bars you can find around the game, when thrown, are actually one-hit kill machines. This is priceless, because the way you'll discover this is almost definitely by accident, if at all, which makes it feel all the more special. And murdering a monster with a bar of spring soap is an experience you're unlikely to ever forget, especially because this is not a one-use item, so if you really want to, you can weave a path of blood and destruction with only your trusty soap by your side. 2. Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 Kingdom Hearts is one of the most split series in gaming history. On one hand, you've got an epic tale of friendship, loyalty, and wars that span decades and cost countless lives, endangering worlds and endlessly threatening them with being overcome by hordes of evil. On the other hand, Mickey Mouse is there, and you can hang out with Winnie the Pooh for as long as you like, and even net a keyblade out of doing so. This huge contrast is what the franchise seems to thrive on, which means it makes sense that amongst the array of already semi-weird weaponry, there's some real zingers. This is especially true in Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2, as each playable member of Organization 13 has a silly weapon you're able to use as a replacement to their regular one. For example, Axel gets a big old pizza, and Marluxia gets a big old plant or a huge soup ladle. Now, sure, they're not the most useful weapons, but damn if you don't want to feel compelled to just use them at least once. And number one, the human catapult, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Metal Gear Solid is no stranger to silly equipment, like water pistols, wooden training swords, and camouflage options that make you look like a mummy or Santa. However, MGS Peace Walker easily takes the cake for this one, because a catapult that fires humans is very difficult to one-up. In the multiplayer mode of the game, after painstakingly slaving away to get all the items necessary for it, you too can craft your own human slingshot. No, really, that's his actual name. Now, there's already one obvious reason why people use this weapon, it's absolutely hilarious, but there is also a second, because if you hit someone with the person you fire, it is an instant kill scenario, meaning it might actually be worth the amount of time you have to put in to get it. Almost worth it, at any rate. And there you have it folks, 10 pathetic video game weapons that players still used. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at youslidedogu. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.